Hey everyone, it's Coach Elias back with live Warzone tips and tricks. Today we're going to go over the best controller settings that I think are the best for me. So right away, we're going to be playing on tactical flipped. I prefer using my bumpers to aim and shoot. And here's a specific reason why. I hold my controller as what's known as partial claw, which means I leave my middle finger kind of just like, you know, floating in the air. It's useless. I don't use my middle finger at all. But my pointer finger, I can shoot. I can play it up and I can reload all while keeping my momentum 100% of the time. My right paddle is jump and my left paddle is melee. So scrolling down to the minimum input dead zone, I play on 0 .04. If you have a lot of stick drift, bring this up to like 0 .05, 0 .06. I've been playing on horizontal vertical stick sensitivity 7.7 for pretty much my entire career. However, if you are now playing on 80 field of view and you're playing on a console, bring this up to about 1313 with your ADS sensitivity multiplier down to 0.65. Now, the reason is because 1313 and 0.65 are the exact sensitivity that I'm playing on on 120 FOV, which is 77 with 0.85 ADS sensitivity multiplier. So there we go. And of course, aim response curve type. I play on dynamic so you can pinpoint where you want to aim. Of course, you got to get those headshots. Aim assist is on standard. You really don't want to mess with that too much. Controller vibration, of course, have that disabled. Now, use slash reload behavior, tap to use. All you have to do is run around and tap square to open up boxes, pick up weapons, loot up. Apply one. I hold triangle with my pointer finger, but once I'm done plating up, I let go and I'm done. I run into zero issues with that. Slide behavior is on tap and of course I'm on automatic tactical sprint. Now let's go ahead and land live and just go for some kills. I'm not ideally going for a win or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and land and start showcasing you know, the actual sensitivity. So this guy right here is just sitting alone. Easy free kill on this guy using my left bumpers to kill him. Ooh, he actually has the uh, Marco 5 custom. This gun right here is insane. I'm going to go ahead and just get to this balloon and start flying around and just trying to get into many uh, gunfights as possible just because I want to actually showcase these, uh, you know, sensitivities, uh, these dead zones, and what have you. So easy kill right here. Boom. I saw another guy down here somewhere. I heard a guy land... Uh, I don't know why that guy is just chasing. Like, he could have easily landed, got some loot, and started, uh, you know, just landing on top of us, but he didn't. I see a lot more gunshots happening over here at, what is this place called? Winery. So, I'm going to go ahead and just push up towards Winery. All of these gunshots usually mean that, you know, I'm going to be safe to push up here because everyone's going to be focused on that. Bummer, got my kills stolen right there. Kill stolen, but this guy's right above me. I can just look for this easy kill. Ooh. I th honestly thought that was going to be an easy kill for me. I was going to have the headshot on this guy, but it turns out that he just had a way better angle. Good play by him. I'm just going to keep landing in here, see if I can re-kill this guy. And if I die, that's totally fine. Uh, I at least got to show you off that two-piece right away, so that's really nice. Got my revenge on this guy. Oh, and then uh, did I do I get a respawn? I do get a respawn. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and land in that building again. Again, right here, this is just all practice, you know, relying on your movement to go inside and outside of the building. Ah, uh, all right, cool. Unfortunately, I died, but ideally, hopefully, you guys see these new controller settings, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you, and peace.